Hello all. All right, so I made Tom a ham and cheese omelet, and now I'm gonna make myself a French bistro omelet. I know, doesn't that sound yum? So let me get my eggs out. See, that, you know, I clean up as I go. And what happened? Uh, I have to get everything back out again to make myself one. <laughs> All right, not the best plating, Karen. Let me get my funnel. I'm using the Epicure cruet here, and I'm using extra large eggs. So, might need a little bit of encouragement here for the extra large. There we go. And two eggs. And the omelet maker is silicone, FDA safe, food safe silicone. It cleans up so easily and it's dishwasher safe. It comes with a recipe card and instructions on how to use your omelet maker. And it also says measurements on the milk and stuff. And I just do that. <laughs> I just do that. Also as part of the instructions, now the top is where the vent holes are. It uh, says to add some oil. I'm using olive oil. It says do not use cooking spray. And then I'm using the Epicure basting brush to get all of that bottom and the sides covered. And I think I got a little aggressive there with my oil, so I'm gonna, yeah. By the way, I have a trash can right here. I'm not just doing that on the floor. <laughs> just in case you were wondering. Put the top on the Epicure Cruet, which does have measurements on the side, and give it a good shake. So, this, I like this method better than whisking. Cause I've been told I'm not a good whisker. <laughs> Just what I've been told. Right, pour that in there. And then for the French Bistro, I'm adding fresh mushrooms and spinach. This is the Epicure cutting mat. It comes in uh, small and large. Uh, the beauty of it is it's flexible so when you're doing a lot of chopping that you have to you know just dump in you can do that uh, I just want to make sure I get everything evenly distributed in my omelet so that's why I'm doing it this way and not just dumping these two are dishwasher safe and then I'm going to add some feta cheese uh, you could also use uh, goat cheese for the recipe instructions. And uh, it suggests two to three minutes in the microwave. When I did Tom's, I did two minutes and it turned out perfectly. So uh, that's what I suggest. Start with two, then you can always add another 30 seconds or minute as you need it for your cooking time. There we go. Yeah, there's tons of recipes out there on the Epicure website. Uh, three recipes here, which actually I did share this uh, in our Facebook group. And of course, just whatever, when you go out for Sunday brunch, so what kind of omelet do you order on that? And that's what you put in your omelet. This one, see how quick and easy that went? If you want to do more for your family than cold cereal and, and Pop-Tarts or toaster strudel, you saw how easy that was. You may want to get two if you're cooking for several people. This would be a great gift for somebody that is a new homeowner, be a nice uh, housewarming gift. A uh, college student, if they have access to a microwave. If you have a camper with a microwave, yeah. Definitely, definitely. 
Um, let me make sure I have everything. Got my plate ready. And my spatula ready. And a towel to pick it up because it was a little hot last time when I pulled it out. About 41 more seconds. Have you joined the 90 day challenge? You should, it's free, it's free. I've already gotten accepted into the Facebook group. There's so many tips, encouragement, inspiration. Um, they do it three times a year. And uh, so uh, there's still folks that did the spring one and they have shared before and after pictures, success stories. So I'm, I'm very excited. Very excited and motivated. Uh, that's what I appreciate too about the Facebook community. Because you know, you start out really strong and then sometimes you kind of poop out or get discouraged. So my hope is this group's gonna keep me going. Let's see how we did here. Yeah, I suggest using a hot pad or a towel because my my little omelet maker is hot and I open it away from me so the steam doesn't burn me look how fluffy that is look how beautiful and fluffy that is and let's, let's look how easily it's coming out too you see that so you know it's going to clean easily yeah look at that Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. All right, well, let's see if beautiful tastes good. Make sure I get a little bite of everything. The cheese, the spinach, the mushroom. Oh my goodness. That was really good. If you have trouble getting uh, vegetables into your diet or your family's diet, yeah, slide some of that chopped spinach in there. They'll be none the wiser. All right, good people. Again, shop the link that I'll have posted. Um, when you go to the Epicure website, go to the search bar, just type in omelet. If it brings up recipes, then you're on the recipe tab. Switch over to the product tab. Go ahead and order your omelet maker. I suggest also getting the uh, cruet because it's great for your salad dressings too. All right, happy healthy eating. Bye.